almost all the time, money wins and everything else is secondary. Yamamoto maybe will be different, but I, I also have said this on this show to kind of close my thoughts. When a player from Japan is posted, it's not a requirement, but they get a nudge from their Japanese club to please take the highest or close to the highest offer. Don't cost them a bunch of money. Like if the Mets offer $330 million, like you said, and the Dodgers offer $290, uh, that's going to be costing Oryx quite a bit of money that they would like to have. And they certainly were under no requirement to post them. So I, I still think I lean highest bidder gets Yamamoto. And I'll tell you this, the Mets better make sure they're the high bidder. That's, that's their job right now is to make sure they are the high bidder. As long as Yamamoto shows any interest in them and you get the vibe that he would consider, you better make sure you're the high offer and he has to turn down your money to go somewhere else. I think you and I, hopefully, with our fine audience, have developed a bit of a reputation for trying to be calculated. I, We don't really get on here and go, well, Steve Cohen is the richest man in sports. Why is Notani Ahmed? Or we didn't, we look at everything and, you know, try to be a little pragmatic and, and understand the risk associated with certain moves and uh, that while, in a way, money can seem endless for Steve Cohen and all of that is great, there are still tax thresholds in this league and there are still penalties and there are still things financially that don't equate to good business and good practices and sustainable winning. Yamamoto is where I kind of, sounds like you agree as well, go off the tracks here and kind of break the general practice of being pragmatic and, and being so you know risk averse because... I don't see the pivot here, right? With Otani, I always told myself, I'd rather probably go after Juan Soto in free agency in 2024. Honestly, and that's not something I said before the Mets were even not considered in on Otani. It's just something you and I talked about. It always made more sense for the Mets. But when you look at Yamamoto, I, there's no, well, if they don't do this with Yamamoto, they can do this in the next 400 days. I, I, there's not that move to me. 